Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam and welcome to another video in our flight tutorial series. Now, what I want to cover in this video is uh, more dynamic types of flying. And we already, we, we talked about um, the basic controls of how to move forward and turn and that sort of thing. So once you're pretty comfortable with that, I want to step into more dynamic flying. And by that, I mean like we're, we're changing the elevation, we're kind of doing more turning, um, just a little bit, a little like next next level, a little bit more advanced. We're not going to do any flips or rolls, but let's get into that right now in liftoff. In our flight simulator, everything, all the settings and stuff are how they have been throughout this series, and I'm working with pretty low rates. So let's get started in here. So one of the things I really want to drive home again in this one is that the throttle and the pitch controls are are sort of linked. I mean, you need to link them in, in your brain. Um, they are independent of each other, but you just need to sort of think of them as, as connected because in order to fly forward and maintain the same altitude, so the same height above the ground, we need to pitch forward and increase our throttle and vice versa. If, if we're at a hover, so I'll just show you instead of tell you. So right now, let's say we're at a hover. Uh, we need very little throttle to actually hover, but we start moving forward. Again, we're in acro mode, and if I move forward a little bit, I can kind of, you know, move. I, I can move forward, and I don't need to raise the throttle too much. But you can see I'm starting to get lower, and if I if I pitch forward much more, I'm just going to run into the ground like that. Okay, so you have to you have to add throttle when you add pitch. Now. If I'm going forward and I'm going like this and I give it a lot of throttle, well, check that out. I'm still going forward, but I'm actually going upward more than I am forward. And that's because the quadcopter is uh, tilted a certain amount. And because of the way that it's tilted, because I don't have a whole lot of um, up tilt on my camera, I have like 20 degrees, it's not tilted that far forward. And so when we give it more thrust, we're actually giving it more upward thrust than forward thrust. It's almost like with your pitch and your roll, it's almost like you're just pointing where you want your quadcopter. Now, if we, let's say we're, we're, we're going forward like this and I pitch forward and give it more throttle, you can see that I'm not, uh, I'm you know maintaining pretty much the same altitude and I'm increasing my speed. Well, I kind of raised up a little bit there. I went up a little high. Let's turn around. Let's turn around. And let's go back the other way. So you can see I have to pitch forward, which means I'm like looking down. But right now I'm at full throttle. And so the more uh, throttle I give it, the more forward I have to pitch the quadcopter in order to stay at the same altitude, but increase speed. So you can kind of say it either way. Like, like if I have less throttle, I need to pull back on the stick so that I get to kind of more of like a hover position. So then that way the quadcopter is, um, the, the most, most of the thrust coming from the, from the motors is, is actually in a downward direction. So it's kind of, kind of, you can kind of think of it like we want the air supporting the quadcopter, uh, when it's like that. And if we tilt forward, we need we need to increase the throttle because our quadcopter it's almost like it wants to slide forward if you if you can kind of kind of imagine it like that um but yeah that's what that's the most important thing when we talk about uh like dynamic sorts of flying so and just to to give you an example like let's just say you know we're going to fly around not even race around really but you know we need to increase uh, our height to go over the fence. Let's say we want to go over this barn, so we need to give it more throttle, and I'm turning at the same time as well. Which so this you know kind of kind of more advanced stuff. We're flying around this tree. Maybe I want to I want to go down low, so I'm r reducing the throttle, but not too much, and I'm bringing it back up so I can catch myself. And maybe I want to come back up here, and um, again I might be doing this a little bit like faster than than you're able to do it, but that's okay. Um, this is just kind of an example of, of how you can, how you can advance your skills. Um, and so 
just kind of this flying sort of you know down low lowering the throttle just a bit and then bringing the throttle back up and like we want to get over these trees so we got to raise the throttle and you might even have to pitch back um so to sort of level the quadcopter so like for example let's say i'm flying by these trees and then um i want to fly over them so i'll need to actually kind of get the quadcopter level so it will just go up and then i can pitch forward and fly over them like that so i don't know it might seem like really basic a uh, really basic concept or kind of redundant but i just wanted to add this um so that as you progress in your flying you know you're going to want to be kind of you know adding some more dynamic moves in there again see there we're increasing the throttle changing the throttle we're do we're just moving everything around we're moving the the right stick the left stick we're lowering the throttle okay but we're maintaining this turn now we're increasing the throttle and and then you can eventually you can, i mean i know i said we weren't going to talk about flips and rolls but eventually you can add that into there you know um all kinds of stuff so that is the biggest thing to keep in mind is that you need to uh really adjust your throttle when you adjust your pitch and again just for reference here we have uh, about 15 degrees of up tilt which is really not very high that's really quite low so once you get the hang of that you'll probably want to increase that and we will when we start doing tricks and kind of fancy stuff anyway i hope that helped somebody out there if you found this video helpful please let me know leave me a comment stick around for the next tutorial video because we've got a lot more of these coming up